Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a saving and loading system in Godot 4. To get started, you need to create a custom directory. So go to project, project settings, type in custom dir. In the config, you could set use custom directory and type in any name you want. So I'll do save system tutorial. And if we close this, run it once, and you press Windows R, go to your app data. As you can see here, all of your data will be stored in this folder and you'll be able to access it at any time. All right, now let's create a new script or you can add this to an existing script. I will delete these two for now. I will create a function called save. This will create a temporary variable for your data. So it will be a dictionary. So we'll do variable save underscore dictionary, we'll get a you know new dictionary. And at the end of this, we will return our save dictionary. In here, you can add all the data you want to store, such as a score, which will get you know, your score variable. For now, I'll just set it at a random number. So let's do 1740 or whatever. And to create more, add a comma. Let's do username. You, know, you can get this from a, a variable, like a global variable or anywhere else, but I'll just put in, in a string format, gwiz. And you can do other stuff, like you can get the player's position, you can sort that in, you know, position. You know, sort position as uh, a vector three. Vector three, let's go zero, zero, zero. And essentially this will be what you're storing. All right, next let's actually call the save function. So let's do function save game here we will create a variable called save game we will set this to file access dot open and here you can actually create the name of your save file so you need to use user slash slash but after this you can name it whatever you would like so i'll do save game and it needs to be dot save and we will do file access dot write because we are writing to the file. Later on when we're loading, we'll be using file access dot read. We'll create a new variable, JSON string. Guess we're using JSON. This will get JSON dot stringify our save function. As we're, you know, we're returning the dictionary. So we will just have the dictionary here. So let's go save game dot store line json underscore string and that's it that's how we save it so if you run this just once oh we have to call it function ready call save game if we run this it has saved if we open up our folder if we go windows r app data and we go to Save system tutorial, go to save game. You can see here, we have all of our data. All right, now to load data, we can do function load game. Here, we will quickly check if the file exists because you know if we call this before we save, it won't exist and it will throw an error. So if not file access dot file underscore exists, and we'll get our file path name. If, if this is not true, we will return. All right. Now we will create a new variable called save game. This will get file access dot open the same file path, but now we will do file access dot read. And here we will do while Save underscore game dot get position. We'll get save game is less than save game dot get underscore length variable JSON string. This will get save game 
dot get underscore line. So we are reading this line by line. Variable JSON. We'll get JSON dot new. We will parse the result. Parse underscore results. We will set this to JSON dot parse. We will get the JSON string recreated. And now we will store that data into a node data. So we'll get JSON dot get data. All right. So this is reading it line by line and we will print out that finalized data. So node risk play, it'll save. Now, if we run load game and press play, you can see it will print out our saved data. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.